All right, y'all, let's get into Jesus and Genesis 1, part 2, I guess, uh, just to kind of uh, get into the things going on in our world because we see the people lifting up the serpent now in our world, the man and woman divide. And basically, the, the sons of God in Genesis 1, the male and female made after he them, everyone is created equal, okay? So with everyone being made equal, there's no division, and since they had rule over everything, this is more of that hunter-gatherer lifestyle. With a hunter-gatherer lifestyle, you're going to be maybe all wearing bare togas, or you may all shave your head depending on the weather or uh, where you live, or you may all have your hair long or whatever. Some people may shave their whole body because they live in the tropics, and some people may grow out all the hair on their body because they live up in the northern uh, areas or whatever. Or as you follow the animals and migrate following the animals there is no death you are the death okay you are giving the death all right so you are that life you are that light of this world but with this um you follow the migration patterns and then uh, depending on that everybody might go from bare togas to being naked who knows um it just depends on where you're at and what you're doing and whatever needs to be done there uh, there are no rules. Um, uh, so, if you look in the Garden of Eden, um, you see that the man and woman is divided by the rib. Okay? Now, the rib they teach us is this thing in our rib cage or whatever. All right? But that rib, with the, with, there's a rib that has a head on it. And there's a foreskin and all those other things that tie to the, foreheads and all those things but this rib that was taken from adam is called a wiener all right it is a penis so with this you get the division all right you get the man versus the woman in the garden with the serpent and lifting up the serpent and that's how the division comes and one's better than the other because <clears throat> the lord god formed a man first in the garden to have rule over the garden and then that man came to Eve, the woman, to control Eve. And then she listened to the serpent. And um, repent means to grieve. So she's grieving the man, telling her what to do. So she listens to that. Man, I ain't going to listen to that, dude. I'm going to eat from this. All right. So then she ate from it. So then um, Adam had to eat it to make himself equal. Uh, so there's different things going on. All right. And uh, basically, Eve is that Jesus character coming to the garden saying, you're not going to rule me, all right? Because Jesus is that female entity, that first son of God, because Jesus came through Mary. And Mary was that miracle birth, that hermaphroditic birth um, that I've done other video on. But she basically came up to age of having wet dreams and she impregnated herself. Because heaven and earth, hell, it's all right here. So we need to think in these aspects. But basically, that first son of God was uh, a female nature that had man and woman parts and then she had a son and then he was the one who was the actual man and that's where you get the king and queen and all those things from the chest and the black and white and the light and dark and everybody came from the darkness and all those different things that tell us this thing okay so um the man and woman is lifting up the serpent. The division is lifting up the serpent. Hey, you can't wear this. You're lifting up the serpent. So just getting back to basics, y'all. All right? If a man can't wear a dress, then a woman can't wear a pant. Okay? And what's to say, what's a dress? Because I see people in Arab nations, they're wearing what we call long dresses, but they call them robes or desert wear or whatever the hell they're called, all right? And they wrap a tablecloth around. So they're always ready for a picnic, okay? So, um, you know what happens at picnics? You get poison ivy on your butt. <laughs> um, but either way, there's a, that division, the rib being taken out, everyone was created equal first, the man and woman, rib or no rib, everyone's he them, all right? And we're all he them because we're all equal light and we're all made after the sons of God and we're all brothers and sisters of God and all those things. But this world wants to create division. Who wants to divide and conquer? 
Satan. Who wants to divide and conquer? The church. Who wants to hate? The church. Who wants to make a woman shut up in, in their seat? The church. Who hates women? Paul. Who brought you new gospel? Paul. Who has another gospel? Jesus. Jesus says believe in God. Paul says believe in Jesus. There's different things, okay? You'll need to wake up. The church is the by bell, the bell worship, and it's a two-edged sword. And with a two-edged sword, you have a blade, you have a handguard, you have a handle, you have a sheath, you have a belt, you have armor, all these different things, okay? So, but with that, Jesus is that point that can pierce through the body, soul, and spirit. And with that point, you have the beginning, Genesis 1, you have the middle, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and you have Revelation. Those are the books of Jesus. All the others is um, Jew law and Jew history and prophets telling you that that Jew law is wrong and those types of things, okay? So, um, we'll end it here, folks.